Regripping is, is pretty basic, but you want to follow a couple rules to make sure that your grips are taken off properly and installed properly. First thing we're going to do is very simple with a straight edge, anything that you have at home, is you want to remove the grip uh, with a straight edge blade and you'll peel the grip back, which should come off fairly easily. Okay, and once you've taken the grip off, it's really important that you take the original tape off. So what we do is, what I do is I'll just take a piece of tape here and I'll pull the grip back and then just start peeling the tape back with your fingers. And however you take the tape off is one thing, but it's very important that all the tape is removed when you put your new grip on. After we remove the tape and the, and the grip itself, we'll want to re-grip re your, with your new grip using simple two-way tape and any activation. This happens to be mineral spirits. And the way that I do it here is I just take my tape off, off the roller, quick measurement. It's very important that we use a full tape, not just five or six inches, but the actual install grip length here. Very simple. And when we go to the application for the solvent, what we do is we actually grease the inside or the ID of the grip. Just a splash will be fine. Shake it so you activate everything and we let it run down the tape itself. And then from here, when you're installing grip, it's really important that the grip slide on very easily so you don't distort the on shaft dimension. Make sure the butt cat is sitting into the shaft itself. And then from here, you're ready to go. I would give the grip about 30 minutes to dry off and it's ready for play.